this month from Big Finish. February 2024 promises not one, but two Bird Doctor and Sarah adventures. The Ninth Doctor is meeting an old friend, and the Master is encountering a Doctor. But maybe, well, yeah, it's the one you're expecting, but, let's be honest here. But before all that, we've got the finale of the 11th Doctor Chronicles. Jacob Dudman and Safia Ringar are reunited one last time for Victory of the Doctor, coming out on the 6th of February. Oh, this is going to be a emotional one, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's the one I'm most excited for this month. I'm equally excited and dreading it, because yeah. it's been such a brilliant run with these two characters that I'm not quite ready to say goodbye. But it's also nice to know that this is it. So mm -hmm. you en you enjoy the previous three box sets and Broken Hearts to get to this point. Yeah, and especially with the arc they've been building, it's very intriguing. It's nice to know that it's coming to this explosive end with the Daleks. The Paradigm, Paradigm. Daleks, no less. Which I think that's the, the selling point, because mm. obviously I, I love Victor of the Daleks, and I saw the potential for the Paradigm Daleks, and it, it was always a shame they never got justice like who is the eternal we're finally getting that answer now mm. and i mean not just that but it's literally mirroring victory of the daleks in the title isn't it this is the victory mm. of the doctor and yeah it just looks like something really special four discs this time rather than usual three so we're getting an extra story worth on this one which brings us to 14 episodes for the 11th Doctor and Valerie, plus a little short trip hmm. if you uh, want to dive your further into their adventures. But yeah, cannot wait, cannot wait. It's, it's oh. going to be a, a roller coaster of many emotions of going, oh, that's exciting to, no, please don't go, don't end. Mm. Yeah. And they're certainly keeping the details rather stum on the uh, final two stories, aren't they? Those synopsises for the uh, stories by Alfie Shaw simply read uh, for The Last Stand of Miss Valerie Lockwood. It is R.I.P. Valerie Lockwood, 6th of October 5324 to 1st of May 1893. Followed by Victory of the Doctor. He told them to run. They should have listened. I mean, that one in particular does give me a few chills. Yeah. Feels very um, Battle at Demon's Run, doesn't it? Yes. We're taking the Doctor to some interesting places. And I think Jacob Dudman has done such a good job in this role. Not just capturing the voice, but capturing the character. Because he is a brilliant actor as well. And so I know he's going to live up to those emotional moments when they come. Well, the trailer's hinting at it, isn't it? And you can see the wow, range the just beautiful. in that. Mm. Cannot, cannot wait. Following that... On the 8th, we have Children of the Future from Sontarans vs. Rutans with Third Doctor, Sarah Jane, and the Brigadier. By Tim Foley, who is a very reliable writer, probably our favourite writer at Big Finish currently. Um, yeah, I think that's fair to say. I mean, he had a brilliant year last year. Yeah, an amazing year last year, and I think... Um, from the third Doctor stories he's done so far, the golf and the house that Hawks built, he's got a real mm. good track record with this, um, with third Doctor and Sarah Jane. Yeah, he's both featuring Sarah Jane, aren't they? This is his first time tackling the Brigadier in this era, though, but he has tackled the Brigadier before in Auton Infinity with the fifth Doctor, which did very well. Yeah, yeah. and I think, I mean, how do you feel as a rather third Doctor purist almost having? these characters in a one hour story rather than the usual four or six parter um i it felt odd in classic doctor's new yeah classic doctor's new monster volume three uh because i could, sort of expected there to be sort of a split in that um mm. but this i i don't know i mm. i don't know how i feel it, it i guess it will depend on the story yeah i think often for me it works if you see them Almost as those omnibus repeats they did. Yeah. Where they edited them down into one hour. And certainly when you have Tim Foley writing it, you usually get in a more chunky one anyway. Like mm -hmm. um House that Hawks built was an hour ten minutes, wasn't it? Yes. Big story. 
bit. And I mean, it looks to be a bit of a road trip with the Brigadier and Sarah while they're discussing the erstwhile the Doctor who may or may not be a Rutan at um, this point in time. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, and I feel like that more intimate style of story lends itself more to the one hour format. Mm. I'm sure there's going to be a fair bit of excitement to be had in there as well. But yeah, I mean, gorgeous cover up by Sean Longmore. A brilliant, brilliant cover. If you want to know what we think of Sontarans versus Rutan so far, check out our review on the Battle of Giants Causeway. Mm. And I'm sure we'll be continuing that review series sometime not long after this one drops. Yes, because it's only an hour, so we should be pretty quick on that review. Oh, I imagine so. Following that, we've got more third Doctor and Sarah. Like we said, there's two lots of them this month. It's uh, it's the Pertwee Smith month. It really is. 13th of February, we've got Revolution in Space. So we're going from a one-hour one to a six-half-hour parts here. This is our big box set. Yeah, and yeah. I love how that's worked out balance-wise because this is them off in space. This is them without unit. Which, you know, is fine, because that's very much part of the era. But I feel like I would have missed Unit had we not also got Children of the Future. So this nicely balances that out, I feel. It almost feels like a little mini-series in a way. Could be seen that it, way. It's sort of or, like that if, if you're a sucker for timelines and you can listen to, you know, Children of the Future, then this. Yeah, um, and all that. Yeah, I imagine that would probably work out all right. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's not from when we used to get four part um or four discs sorry the doctor box sets no, no this works out the same runtime wise just about doesn't it yeah just uh, it's just instead of two four parters you're getting a six parter and a one hour one hmm. but this looks to be quite an interesting one doesn't it yeah it seems to have like all the hallmarks of the era um you know of nick's praise sadie as being one of her best performances so that's going to be exciting to see what jonathan morris does with sarah jane because obviously we've just listened to fugitive of the daleks and that was very of the hartnell era so it'd be interesting to see how jonathan morris tackles you know a six-part pertwee story mm. i mean it's nice that with the third Doctor Adventures for quite a while now, we have been fairly stuck to original monsters and yeah. like threats in general. You know, it's, I mean, we haven't necessarily had one since volume six with the Daleks. Volume eight with like the Draconians. Yeah, but I'm sort of like, they're not necessarily a threat, up. they're more their own thing. Mm. I'd say purely monster wise, it would be volume six but yeah volume eight does have that returning element but yeah since then they've been keeping it very original and i feel like that lends itself to some interesting stories as well and it's nice to know that it's being done on the strength of both the actors and the recreation of the era that they're going for here rather than having to put monsters in now to help Sales. sell so yeah like, you know to wash down the pill for some people of recasts it's nice to know that they are now strong seen as strong enough on their own to carry these box sets i mean we're I mean, nine very years well deserved in. we're we're nine years into this range and mm. you know we've seen it evolve and it's it's great that we're finding this place where we can get this sort of stuff and obviously having these original elements it fits pertly very well because he he is the doctor of monsters you know he's got so yeah. many iconic creatures of the era yeah, and I mean, he only had two monsters that were... Or technically three, actually, to be fair. you got Ogrons, Daleks, and Ice Warriors. And if it, oh, and Autons. Yeah, and then you've got yeah, Cybermen like, and yeah. Carnival, but, you know. Mm. Oh, no, but I mean that pop up more than once. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I've got you, I've got you. Yeah. Or actually, yeah, if, yeah, if you look at it from the perspective of monsters returning from previous eras, it is just Daleks and Ice Warriors. Yeah. Because, you know, Autons, Ogrons, all the others are original to his era. Yeah. Anyway, Buried Frets is out on the 15th with the ninth Doctor, Christopher Eccleston, reuniting, well, 
sort of reunite it. Reuniting for the Doctor, but not for the night before Christopher Eccleston with yeah. Bernie Summerfield, which is not quite the latest. We've um, seen these two encounter each other timeline wise because you do have that 12th Doctor novel, Big Bang Generation. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. But here it's Lisa Bauman's first full cast. Um, story with a new series doctor because I think she I did do the uh, audiobook reading didn't she for... yeah she read that she did read that yeah but no, here she is acting opposite Christopher Eccleston sadly for only one of the three episodes yeah I think that's the, the thing that's sort of that thing of you hope it's a whole box set hmm um, but yeah they're still still in the, the thing of Eccleston doesn't just ask companion of the week I mean, part of me's holding out hope that she'll stick around for the next box set somehow. That'll be like a surprise cliffhanger, and they'll reveal it. Like, you know, come on, we're getting one last box set with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that'll be like the big that. series three finale. But... Yeah, but I imagine it won't be. I imagine. Yeah, I'm not be standalone. Extra... I'm not holding out much hope for it, but it's just a um, you know, pipe dream, I suppose. Mm. Oh, wouldn't this be nice? But to say, I don't want to pin my hopes on that because you know, I want to enjoy this for you know just the one story that it very likely is and you get the most of these two characters out of this one rather than hoping for more later but i mean we've also got so that is ancient history by matt fitton we've also got a theater of cruelty by lisa mcmullen and the running men by mark wright in this set yeah very interesting um set of stories great selection of writers mm -hmm. I would say um, the running men seem quite personal to Mark Wright, so that'd be quite interesting to see. I think that's the story I'm looking forward to the most. We did get individual covers for mm. this one as well, like revealed already. And yeah, they are some beautiful ones from Caroline Tankersley. Um, yeah, I think particularly the running men stands out as a pretty strong cover and intriguing story as well. I think something something different for the ninth doctor you know it doesn't really compare to any of the ones he's had previously whereas i feel like a theater of cruelty is sort of doing the typical the standard yeah historical cover. figure that eccleston probably quite likes uh and throwing him together not that that's a bad thing no, but, no, no. Yeah. it keeps him but, sweet it keeps him making mm. these audios for us yeah but certainly the running men stands out as something a bit different so I'm intrigued to see uh, where that and one takes us. I've, I've missed Eccleston, actually. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's been a while since you've heard from the Night of Doctor, so having that bit of a gap made me uh, be rejuvenated, ready for this box set, really. And Series 3 has been a strong one so far. Yeah, a lot more consistent than uh, Series 2, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that is crazy to think that for... You know, ten box sets in a row. It was non-stop, one every three months. You know, for I mean, nearly three years on the go there until November uh, last year. We finally got that little gap. I mean, we sort of had uh, in October once a future filling it a bit, but that was only one story around the whole box set. Hmm. And that's something a little bit different as well. So, uh, but after this, we have master with eric roberts and paul mcgann mm -hmm. coming out on the 20th yes so we're nearing the end of the month now because it's a short one it's a leap year though so got a little bit a little bit extra yeah this is a wild card box isn't it really um it's definitely what i'm looking forward to definitely yeah. what i'm excited to get my my ears around yeah i mean you've got axos in there as well mm-hmm and an Axon 8th Doctor on the cover there. Yeah, yeah. We've had Axon Colin. Now we've got Axon McGann. Mm -hmm. Quite a look there. Uh, you've got Vienna in this too, which is sort of typical for the Master yeah. series, yeah. isn't it? It kind she of very become much his companion. Yeah. yeah. But, but there's a, not typical companion. It's, it's more just co-star, I'd say. Because yeah. certainly doesn't seem like they're often working together. And if they are, it's very much because they are forced to, which seems to be the case in this story. It's a, um, basically a story about where uh, this Axos has turned up again, really. And 
a team of scientists are looking into it and recruit some mercenaries to help them investigate, including the master, because they know he's got some history of uh, this entity that is Axos. And then that ends up leading him to the Eighth Doctor of sorts. Hmm. It's, it's an intriguing setup, and certainly I've not picked up the previous two master box sets, but yeah, I will be diving into this one. Yeah, Partially I mean, you got McGann there, and also Axos. They've they've all been pretty standalone box sets, so I think you'd be fine picking this up. Yeah, it seems like they like to tie things up at the end of each one, <clears throat> and then untie it for the next one to then presumably tie it back up again at the end. Yeah, and I imagine a lot of people are going to pick, be picking this up because it's Eric Roberts and McGann um, really and I think we probably assumed that the third box set would be also out at some point this month no date yet but probably somewhere towards the end is Star Cops Blood Moon Daughters of Death the uh, second part of their six part series that they've got going on at the moment if you're into that it's there written by Nicola Baldwin uh, we I should probably gathered we are more Doctor Who centric here, so um, so I better awesome thing. I yeah. better sabotage your Star Cops mm, section get over it. by talking about Torchwood, sabotage the third story with Ace and Mister Colchester. Mm. Another one written by James Goss. This one due someone late February. They've said so. Imagine somewhere right near the end of the month. Uh, that is what late means. <laughs> Yes. Um, <laughs> are you picking this one up? I am. I do love a bit of Ace and Mr. Colchester. I mean, Mr. Colchester's been great in the Among Us series. I love him there. And yeah, having him with Ace. Genius move. I love the first two with them. Uh, you know, often the case, it's more that I'm just there vibing with the characters than the story. Mm, you know those. You've yeah. got those releases. They've got a great sort of character. Um, reaction and yeah they're great together yeah great report the actors clearly get along and i think that shows in the uh you know end product the characters don't necessarily get along all the time and they've got very different methods yeah they've got old married couple energy in a way <laughs> yeah they do they do yeah and i think this is our first time getting power of the dr ace on a cover issues mm. with some uh, nitro on in her backpack uh the story's very much sort of tapping into the fact that ace is all like now this grown woman you know she's a businesswoman and such but deep inside there's still that child part of her that likes to blow things up and i quite like the way that this story is set up of ace and mr colchester being brought in on opposite side of things mr colchester is on brought in by the company to investigate some sabotage that's going on. Ace, meanwhile, is on the side of the protesters who, you know, probably have an interest in blowing up this, uh, is it oil works? Mining works. There we go. Uh, yeah, you know, not the best thing for the planet, I imagine. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant clash of these two characters. Mm. I mean, you've picked up the first one, haven't you? Well, you picked got... up both of them, but you've listened you only listened to the first one so far. Yeah, I've only listened to the Red List, um, and I enjoyed that. Um, I've just not got around to Death in Venice. Yeah. Do you think you'll pick up Sabotage? I probably will pick it up eventually. I, I don't think yeah. it's a day one pickup for me. Ah, more when you've got a bit of time and money. Maybe you want to boost up an order or something. Yeah. And then... Yeah, because uh, obviously Big Finish are doing little surprise releases because the day we're recording this, we've had 12 Doctor Chronicles um, be announced. Um, so that's probably where I'll, I'll go towards. Yeah, you've got um, to save your money just in case those um, surprises come along that are announced fairly late in the day. Yeah, but I, I will pick it up if there's like a Torchwood sale and Torchwood pretty much on sale regularly. So I imagine it will be on sale fairly soon. Yeah, I'm sure you won't have too long to wait for this one. I mean, I think it's fair to say with other than Star Cops, again, no offence to Star Cops, it's just, you know, again, it costs a lot of money. If we yeah. can avoid picking something up, we will. I mean, uh, we adore but, you, Big Finish, but yeah. even we have our limits. Yeah, we have to say no at some point. 
but we won't be saying no to pretty much anything else from this month i think everything else we've mentioned we are picking up aren't we <laughs> if yeah, we've yeah. not already reordered bundled slash it. bundled it yeah oh. oh that's february i mean january was fairly quiet but this is packed to the brim considering it's the shortest month of the year it's got some heavy hitter releases in there mm. i mean especially like the first two weeks are jam-packed i know we're going to be very busy listening yeah we've reviewing. got a lot to listen to and a lot to review i'm sure most of these releases we will put out a review for and if not you'll hear us talk about them somewhere either in you know our tier list at the end of the year or some streams along the way we'll we'll make sure we get our thoughts out there and everything yes absolutely all right but until then thank you all for watching let us know your most anticipated release of the month and there's certainly quite a few to pick what what's yours actually ben ah <laughs> uh, it's got to be victory of the doctor victory of the doctor Ooh, good choice i think children of the future edging it out for me but okay yes. so i think victory of the doctor still very exciting as well so yeah let us know yours comments below like subscribe all that stuff and we'll see you next time bye bye